Setup Dimensions Hi and thanks for watching. This video shows how to set up dimensions, which help analyze business transactions. For example, track sales revenue per geographical area or customer segment, track expenses per department, and so on. The setups depend on what we want to analyze and the structure of our company. In the Business Manager Role Center, you will find the dimensions setup under Home, Setup and Extensions, Manual Setup, and Finance. Choose Dimensions. A dimension named Department is provided, so we'll use that. To define the values that we can choose for this dimensions, choose Dimension Values. Departments has values for three departments, Administration, Production, and Sales. If needed, we can arrange dimension values in a hierarchy, like the chart of accounts. Now, we can add our department dimension to transactions, so we can analyze the transactions later. We'll make it easy to enter dimension values and do basic analyses by making a dimension global, so it's available throughout Business Central, in journals, documents, and lookups at the general ledger. Global dimension should be dimensions we often use. Create global dimensions in the General Ledger Setup window by choosing Change Global Dimensions. We can add default dimension values as defaults to master data like customers, items, vendors, salespersons, and general ledger accounts, so we don't have to enter them on every transaction. We're tracking revenue and expenses for departments, so we'll add defaults to customers because they belong to the sales department. Let's look at a customer card. There, we choose Navigate and Dimensions. This customer always buys through the sales office, so we'll use only this value. In the Value Posting field, we'll choose Same Code so that Business Central uses only the sales value. So what happens when we post a sales invoice where the default values differ from the customer and salesperson? It's a problem only if Value Posting is set to Same Code for both the customer and salesperson. If we don't set the value posting parameter or require a dimension, we can set up a hierarchy in the default dimension priorities window so that Business Central can pick one. Search for default dimension priorities. The default dimension priorities page shows source codes, which are types of business transactions. We'll prioritize the tables to get dimension values from. For example, for sales, customers are first priority if there's a value, the salesperson is second, and then the item. If there's no default dimension, we'll add one so we can analyze the data. Posting with dimensions is easy. Typically, default values do the job for us. However, for special transactions like corrections, we might want to change the dimensions. For documents, default values are assigned to the header and used on lines. We can change both. If we do, Business Central asks if we want to update all lines. New lines use the new values. And we're done. Thanks for watching. We've just seen how to use dimensions to track and analyze transactions, set up as many dimensions and accommodate different setups, control how and when dimensions are used, resolve conflicts between multiple entities with different default values.